The height of an equilateral triangle is 10 centimeters. What is its area? An equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the sides are of equal length. So let the length be A. So all of the sides are of equal length. Now we have been given the height of this triangle as 10 centimeter. Now in an equilateral triangle, this altitude divides the base. So this becomes A by 2 and this is A by 2. It actually divides the base in two halves. Now this is a right angle triangle. We can calculate A by Pythagoras theorem. So hypotenuse square, that's A square is equals to base square plus height square. So A by 2 square plus height square. So A square is equals to A square by 4 plus 100. Okay. So 4A square is equals to A square plus 400. Okay. Now 4A square minus A square is actually 3A square is equals to 400. So therefore A is equals to you know root of 400 that's 20 by root 3. So we have the value of A. We can calculate the area now. So A is the base. We know the height. So area is equals to half into base is A. That's 20 by root 3 into height. That's 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. So this is basically 100 by root 3 centimeter square. So this is the area. Option D. If the area of a square with side A is equal to the area of a triangle with base B, then what is the altitude of the triangle? So the area of the square is equal to the area of the triangle. So I can write AS equals to AT. What is the area of a square? It is side square and we have been given the side as A. So it is A square is equals to what is the area of a triangle? Well, it is half into base into height. We have been given the base as A. So times A times let the altitude or the height of the triangle be H. Okay. So this A and one of this A gets cancelled out. What we have here is A is equals to 1 by 2 H. So therefore height is equals to twice of A. So option C is the correct answer. The ratio of the basis of two triangles is x is to y and that of their areas is a is to b. Then what will be the ratio of their corresponding altitudes? So the ratio of the basis is x is to y. So I can write b1 by b2 is equals to x by y. And the ratio of their areas is a is to b. So a1 by a2 is a by b. And we want the ratio of their altitudes. That's we want h1 by h2. Okay. Now we can write a1 by a2 as you know we have it as a by b. It can be written as a1 is half into base into height of the first triangle upon area of the second triangle is half into b2 into h2. Half and half gets cancelled out. A by B is equals to we have B1 by B2 times H1 by H2. Okay, so B1 by B2 is X by Y. So we have A by B is equals to X by Y times H1 by H2. So therefore H1 by H2 is equals to AY by BX. So this is equals to Ay is to Bx. So option C is the correct answer. If every side of a triangle is doubled, the area of the new triangle is k times the area of the old one. What is the value of k? So for simplicity purposes, let us consider right angle triangles. So this is the initial triangle. Let its base be B and height be H. 
Now we are doubling every side of the triangle. So the base will be doubled, that will be 2B and the height will also be doubled, that will be 2H. Okay. Let us also say that this has area A1 and this has area A2. Now the question says that if every side of the triangle is doubled, the area of the new triangle is K times the area of the old one. So area of the new triangle that's A2 is equals to K times the area of the old one. Now what is A2? A2 is half into base into height. So half into base is 2B into height is 2H. It is equals to K times what is A1? Well it is half into base into height. Okay, so this half and this half goes out, BH and BH goes out. What remains is K is equals to 2 times 2, that's 4. So the value of K is 4, option D.